In the past year or so, as my wife and I have, have uh, been full-time RVing, we've started to uh, do a lot more uh, online work for and business. So um, we still like to explore remote areas and do a lot of boondocking, but we find the, the internet coverage in some of those areas is is either not there or just on the fringe. Uh, it's really frustrating when you're just on the fringe and you can barely get an email out or can't even load a photo off the internet. So I've heard good things about the the Wilson Sleek cell phone booster and it'll also boost data signal which would be ideal for our little Verizon MiFi. So uh, we decided to uh, pick one up and give it a try. We were in Oregon at a, an RV park that was just a little bit maybe 10 miles away from the nearest city and we were getting very fringe reception. Uh, sometimes it would kick into 3G but it would be very slow. So we uh, got one of these sleek boosters. Uh, they're relatively inexpensive, maybe $125, $150. And supposedly they're supposed to boost the signal in a, you know, a few bars and get, get you out of the fringe area. So I'm, I'm going to give it a test. Uh, when I picked it up, I made sure I got the 4G model. It'll also work on 2G and 3G. It's backwards compatible. And also I picked up the V model, which is designed for the Verizon LTE 4G system. There's an A model for AT&T as well. So, uh, yeah, we're going to give it a try. Especially, I can give it a good test because I'm currently in an area that is fringe. Um, so let's... Uh, unbox it and see what we got in there. Okay, here's what was included in the packaging. Here's the heart of the, the sleek here. It's got the, the built-in repeater booster. And they give you this little antenna with a fair amount of cord. Um, so what this does is you mount that in your vehicle or inside the RV and then you can just let your cell phone sit in there and it will amplify the, the cell signal for you. Here's our Verizon MiFi jetpack we use and it just sits in there nicely like that. Get out of the way, Beagle. There's Snoopy over there. So the other stuff you get in there is, here's your power supply, that plugs into your lighter socket or a 12 volt in the RV, and there's the charge cord there. Uh, this is the mounting bracket for the MiFi, so that'll mount in the car, I'll show you it hooked up in the car later. Uh, a nice little owner's manual listing accessories and how to run it and hook it up. So let's uh, hook it up in the vehicle and test it out. Okay, in the vehicle, this is the general idea how it works. You plug it into a power socket. <laughs> like that and then plug power up the the sleek um, I just have it sitting in my lighter tray but you it has a, a sticky back so you can mount it on the dash and then there's the antenna wire and it's run out to an antenna on the roof so when you have your cell phone and you want to boost the signal and just slide it in there and it just sits in there so uh, I guess with cell phones the idea is it's in there you can't really talk to it so you have to use a, a Bluetooth hands-free system that's actually not what we want it for I don't talk on the phone much we want it for data so we use our Verizon hotspot and let it sit in there and then that uh, in a fringe area will boost up the the data to a point that it's actually useful. We recently uh, were in an area where we were just barely getting signal 
just be, being able to maybe send an email once in a while but not even load a picture it's one of the reasons we picked this up to boost that data and it, it actually brought it up to a solid 3G and, and actually it gave us a couple bars of 4G so we were quite happy with that so that's how it's uh, designed for in the vehicle let's go outside and show you the roof antenna so you're supposed to run up and then you get this little antenna that's got it's magnetic and it'll just stick on your roof like that but uh, that's not really the way we're going to use it we're going to use it inside our our trailer so I'll go hook it up inside there so here we are in the RV and this is how we we hook it up in here we have a 12 volt outlet underneath our TV here so we plug that in there just put the sleek anywhere on this counter and then it came with with the little antenna has about 12 feet of cord so I can move that around the RV to different spots and and uh, get the best signal looking at the accessories that are available for the sleek it looks like there is a little uh, AC out AC uh, to DC converter so I won't need to I could plug it into any plug with that and also there's a, a good selection of antennas there's an external RV antenna that Wilson makes so I could uh, permanently mount that on the roof and then it'll uh, actually boost the signal even more so that's how she works in the RV so here's the signal strength I'm getting on my Verizon hotspot MiFi device without the sleek booster in this area I got RSSI about 18 percent and we're looking at minus 106 dBm so now I'm going to plug in my uh, sleek device and see how much we improve you can see it popped up to 31 percent there 104 dBm now let's plug in the device and see okay looks like we've boosted up to 58 percent at minus 84 dBm and we got three solid bars there of signal strength so that's not bad so we've been camped in this same spot for about three days now and for the most part we've had very very weak 3G connections and mostly just one times RTT now with the sleek booster we've actually got two bars of 4G LTE connection which uh, is quite an improvement I think with a little better rooftop antenna rather than the stock antenna we have we could probably even get a little better connection well there you go um, as you can see it did boost the signal and worked as advertised so I'm pleased with that and quite happy with the product uh, nothing more frustrating than than just barely having internet and it's enough to to get us some some good data flow uh, one thing I'll get is is I'll upgrade and get the the roof mount antenna and uh, probably uh, pick up the little power supply and desktop uh, the power supply for hooking into AC power and also there's a little desktop pedestal that'll that'll hold the the sleek in place